Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can schedule publishing of pages in SharePoint Online. Uh, let me tell you a little bit more about the use case. So um, let's say I want to create a page. I have the say human resources employee, you, you know, site employee hub, and uh, I want maybe to publish a page or an announcement, uh, a news post, but you know what? I don't want to publish it right away and be visible right away. I want to publish it maybe a month from today. Uh, what we can do is now we can schedule those pages. We have a, a new feature in SharePoint, which uh, allows us uh, to do just that. Let me show you how to do that. What you need to do first is navigate to the site pages library. That's where all the pages reside. That's where all the uh, news posts reside. Gear icon, site contents, site pages. Right, and you will get to see all the pages that are currently, um, you know, part of your site. And what you need to do over here next to automate, you see uh, this uh, button, this feature called scheduling. You click on it, and by default, it's off. You need to enable it. So you just ena enable it globally uh, at the um, site pages level. All right. And now let's go ahead and create a new page. Now, uh, this works for uh, both for um, regular pages, right? If you were to create a regular page um, and an announcement, I think, you know, scheduling um, makes sense more, I guess, for uh, the news post, right? If you create a new news post, which actually does create a page behind the scenes anyway. So let me show you how that works. So let's publish a new news post. And let's choose a template over here. And you know, just uh, type in the title of your news post. Here we go. Uh, and obviously, you can add you know whatever text and images, whatever um, you know uh, you want to add to your news post. Let's not worry about it. Now, if I were to click the post news uh, button, then it would immediately immediately publish it, um, you know, to the site, and essentially will um, show the. Um, uh, the uh, news post within the news widget on my site. I don't want that. I want to schedule it for the future. So what you need to do is click page details over here. And on the right hand side on this uh, information panel, enable scheduling for this page. And then this is where you pretty much uh, select the date and time. Uh, let's say we want to publish uh, you know, on this particular date. All right, and then uh, you can also select, you know, specific time as well. Uh, click, you know, the this uh, checkbox button. All right, and essentially now um, it will publish on this particular date, and we just click schedule. All right, so instead of publish, all right, or post news button, you, we now this button is converted to schedule, which means it's going to be scheduled. Uh, so let's do just that. Perfect, it has been scheduled. And if I go back to my um, site, as you can see, the news post does not appear here, all right? Essentially, um, it's not going to be available uh, until that particular date. If I now navigate, let's see what happens in the site uh, pages library, all right? Uh, so here we go. Uh, here's our news post. Here's our news post, but you will get to see the uh, little uh, gray icon over here. Uh, right uh, with a calendar and a, and a clock, and that means that this um, this post uh, is been scheduled, right? And of course, if you need to change it for whatever reason, maybe publish it immediately, or uh, you want to change the date, you can just check the box from here, click this information panel, and then you know again disable scheduling and publish it immediately, or change the date and time, etc. All right, so a really nice feature that I think um, will really improve uh, the flow of things, right? Especially on communication sites, when you want to communicate uh, information to your uh, employees uh, and schedule, prepare the announcements and uh, you know pages up front. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you learned a new trick. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of the day. Goodbye.